So the spaceship were to go light speed. Or to get closer to light speed, they would perceive the people on Earth aging quicker, quicker, quickly, faster. As it was getting smaller and further away, it would be happening faster and they would see it Earth. And they would go to their destination. And the people on Earth would see a ship that would be gaining speed and eventually begin to phase in and out of existence. And when it would reappear in existence further along, the people on the craft would be a bit older, but much further along. And would get to their destination when only a few years' time of theirs as they were appearing. And that would be the divergence. The people on the, pl on the ship would actually believe the Earth was getting older and they would see the destruction. The Earth would go fast. The people on Earth would see a crew that stayed young and traveled to their destination, phasing in and out of existence at light speed, or close to light speed getting there quickly. So from our perspective on Earth, it would be a safe travel for the astronauts and they would arrive at their destination quickly and only a bit older, noticeably the same age. They would appear, they would, they would phase out of existence. We, we wouldn't perceive them traveling most of it. So we would only perceive them traveling some of it, and those some of it would be far away. So we'd be, we'd be missing the large chunks of their experience because it would be so fast. So, but those large chunks of their experience is just a distance. They're actually traveling to the point that we perceive them in that amount of time. So within a month, they would go from here to here. We wouldn't even see them, though. And then they would appear. And it would be... We would see them. when they would, And then we would lose them again. And then they would phase. Well, okay. When I said we wouldn't even see them, I, I really threw the train of thought away. We would see them. From Earth, we would see them travel and get to their destination quickly. And we would see pieces of their travel. The astronauts would see an Earth expand and the people on Earth expand quickly. It would be two different realities. And the distance and speed would make it so. <sighs> Conceptualizing dual perceptions at high speeds. <sighs> Give me some tools. I'll explain it in a more concise way. Um, so if a spaceship was traveling away from the planet, and going close to light speed, getting closer to light speed, it would hit a threshold, I think, like how sound hits a sonic boom. The, the ship would hit a threshold where it would begin to perceivably phase out and back into existence. It would be moving, moving, kind of like, and then disappear, seemingly, and reappear farther along, much farther along, and they would have aged a little. So to them, a simple, a simple drawing would help explain this. How's this look? Can you see this? No, no way. It's such a such a blocky drawing. Okay, there. There's three circles. There's Earth, 
Then the ship speeding up, this is where it would phase out, and then this is where it would phase in. So they would actually travel this distance quickly. They would be perceiving a, a journey, a fast, they would be like, we are moving so fast, oh, everything's flying, and it would take them a month, let's say, this, this would take them a month to travel. The people on Earth would see them phase out and back in a month older, but it would happen well here's where I'm a little stuck very quickly is what I thought oh maybe it would take like a month to get to here and then it would take It's the distance traveled that is the, the tricky part, because it's not actually there. Once you start going fast enough, the distance isn't really there. So, it's like they would pop over here, maybe instantly, and seem older. But if the technology is good enough, they would seem. So, okay. This is a tough one. I got another video where I'm kind of conceptualizing it, but where I was like stoned and kind of like feeling the visualization of it. Part of, me t part of it tells me that they would phase out of existence and then phase back in far away, a bit older. And then we would see them a bit older. Like they would speed up. So not only would they travel very far, they would age kind of far, but not, not too far. So, because if we could slow their aging process, they could get to their destination instantly and be the same age. But if we don't slow their aging process, they'll get to their destination instantly, but age. Instantly perceivable to the people on the planet, they'll like phase over there. But they'll have traveled for a long period of their time. So we would have to slow the aging process in order to keep it... Maybe it slows naturally with speed. So they would phase over there in, and have a sim similar age. <laughs> it's so wacky, man. People do this like for a living. Oh god, there's math behind it, I'm sure. Hear that music? And then this fucking emergency, like, sirens blaring. It's like the city, living in the busy city. So much shit going on. Oh, figure this out. Ah, yeah. Okay, so maybe it is that they would disappear and phase over here instantly, we would see it like the, and they would still be the same age because they traveled, they just traveled that, it's like they jumped, but, so we would see them skip through space, kind of like using the internet video, we, we, they'd be set like electricity, but and that's from our perspective. We'd have young astronauts that traveled a great distance in a short period of time. But to the astronauts, it would be a linear experience 
It would be going, 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 and it would be taking a while, and they'd be going fast. And they'd be going, and everything around them would be aging and growing and changing. So, like, the perception of light. How does light perceive everything else? That's the question. We perceive light to be what it is. How does light perceive us? I think it would, the astronauts would diverge into an alternate reality once they hit a certain speed. And then that, what that leads me to believe is that every time, every forward motion is a divergence into an alternate reality. That it would be apparent at high speeds a person traveling at a very high speed would see these people grow growing faster and the people that were still would see the high speed phase spa spatially but maintain the same age see does that that makes sense so the people that were traveling the speed would see the age the speed of the age increase the light speed of the age increase the people that were still would see this, this traveling things distance, spatial distance speed increase. There's two kinds of speeds. There's acceleration and light speed, which exists at all times within us. It's, it's a thought traveling. It's like a, the speed of existence, the speed of things popping into existence, apparition. The acceleration is a more hardened concept, like my hand is moving. It's accelerating. There's a quantum speed and a non-quantum speed, a conventional speed. Acceleration, conventional. Light speed, quantum. So the astronauts would get a glimpse of quantum acceleration. They would see people aging faster. They would see things in the universe happening faster. The expansion. They may even see the expansion. The people on the Earth would see, because they weren't moving fast, they weren't, move, they weren't speeding up their, their acceleration, they would see acceleration, but they wouldn't see astronauts aging fast. They would just see the astronauts getting to where they want to go quickly. It's a duality. It's when you speed up, you really start to see the differences between acceleration and quantum. Like, uh, conventional acceleration? There's probably a better word for it. Cosmic acceleration and, and quantum acceleration. Right now, it exists here, me, sitting in my apartment. I'm quantumly, accel I'm quantumly accelerating, or, or constant, quantumly constant in the speed. And I am cos cosmologically accelerating in this thing. Okay, so what that means is that when you take an astronaut and send him light speed or close to light speed, he would perceive people aging quicker, and people would perceive him moving quicker. And they're both types of movement. When the body gets older, that means it's moving. It's a degeneration or a, a radioactive decay, in a sense, age, aging in general. But it's not traveling. Traveling is something, another kind of movement. I probably explained that. I've explained that like three or four different ways just now. But when you travel someone at high speeds and someone there not, you get to see both from both perspectives. The thing is, they diverge into different realities, so... In order to document it, you would have to have an outside third-party observer. Maybe we could do that with a Hubble telescope or something, with telescopes, and then see it plaintively from different angles. And if we can somehow manipulate radio communication or light, we can document it as it's happening. Like, it's a mind warp. The on Earth, this basic life form, our minds aren't quite equipped to perceive it naturally without like being like, ah, but we can. We're, we're headed towards that. I think once we do a lot of experimentation in space, it'll become more of our, a more part of our daily life. It'll be, it'll be a very natural way, because the way we feel is like a ex quantum acceleration or quantum movement. It's happening, you know, it's like, uh, I'll s s push them together, smash them, smush them together, put it up there. 
the thoughts. I mean, these three videos that I did about it. Fun, 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 fun. Ed Witten, where are you? I wanna, I wanna get down to it. Let's figure this out, man. Oh, you guys, man. There's so many smart people, Ben. Let's do this. Let's get on stick cam and visualize uh, both forms of movement. See ya. I, see ya? I'm seeing you. That's what it is. Not I'll see you. I'm seeing you. Whatever you are. Right now you are a camera and a line of it. You. I looked at a person and said, I'm seeing you. Because it's like a constant state of seeing. It's a constant appearance of this. So they're related. The quantum acceleration and the conventional cosmologic acceleration are relativistically related. In that when you speed up, when you accelerate in your daily life, when you do things, things seem to happen around you. These things seem to grow around you and change around you. Like when you're depressed and you're not doing anything, nothing really seems to change around you. That feeling... And when you're active, like working the job every day, when you're busy and your mind's active, things change. It's like things slow down, time slows down, but things change and grow because you're accelerating. Now, the other end of that, from the other rel uh, relativism, from the other side relatively, if you slow your mind, things start to accelerate around you. Like when you meditate, like when you slow your mind down and, and slow down the, the speed or take control of the speed of quantum existence and quantum acceleration, things start to accelerate around you. When I get very calm and clear my mind and calm, someone calls me or comes over. Like they can, t they can feel that I've slowed and things start to accelerate and things start to happen and people want to work with me and people want, want me to go out and things like that. But to the other flip side of if I'm going out, the things around me, the people that I am seeing and that are popping in are changing and growing because I'm going, I'm doing, I'm active. The change. So it's like, to, to visualize that from both sides is kind of kind of nuts, man. To watch them, like I'm going to rewatch this, and I probably maybe seem nuts doing it, but it's real. It's real. There's two ways of movement. One is like a calmness, a medita meditative movement, and one is an actual physical movement, like working the body and running and doing activity, mental activity, and they both affect the other. Use your imagination from there. I love you. I'll see you. I hope you enjoy these.